Welcome back, YouTube, and welcome back, my sister. Oh, this is Mary Handy Hands, which you a great another video. All right, we're gonna make a vegetable dish. This right here is the smoked turkey. Smoked turkey wings. Right here, we have some bits and pieces of stock fish. It's, it's, it's just dried up fish. It's called stock fish. It just, like I said, it's just the pieces. And I just have them soaked in some water, but you really don't have to soak it that long because they don't take that, that long to cook when they're in pieces like this. We have one, uh, one ounce of uh, ground up crayfish. We have some Maggi cubes. This is beef Maggi cubes. You have the chicken too, so you can use either one. We have some uh, Gaia seasoning, adorable seasoning. This is one season that I use. This is palm oil. And we have one red onion. And this is optional. This right here is a pack of Sasson. I have two packs, but I'm only gonna use maybe one. I'll just put this to the side. So this is the ingredients we're going to start with right now. I'm going to chop up this onion. You can rough chop it. Let me get my knife here and show you. Just cut it down to sound like so. You don't have to be perfect. Just want to get like medium dice. Like I tell you, I love to make all different kinds of culture food. African food is one of my best foods I like to make. So you just want to just mainly just chop it up like so. It just goes to the side, like about that side right here. This is fine. This is pieces you want. You want them more smaller, you can, but this is great. This size is wonderful. Okay, we're gonna put this, okay, right now. I got some water boiling and we're gonna add the smoked turkey wings to the water. Okay, my sister all and my brother all. And so we're gonna add, just put some water in the pot. What we're gonna do, we just wanna cover the meat just a little. We're gonna add all the smoked turkey wings to it. Like so. Okay, see my water level? As you want, it's barely covering it. This needs to come to a boil. But right now, before it come to a boil, we're going to, and then you know, like the, the, the smoked meat, I already have like the smoky taste a little bit. So we're just gonna add just a little. Season, we're gonna just go, like I say, my other video goes back, I mean front, back, and then front. And that's it. That's all the season we're gonna use. An adorable season. That's it. That'll be good enough. And also we, we have some jalanero peppers we're gonna put in there. I didn't have it right here, but we're going to add it. Right now we add in the red onions. We're gonna let that boil with the meat. Okay, we're gonna let this cook come to a boil. About, about 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, we're gonna let it come to a boil and we're gonna add the other ingredients. Okay, y'all, right now we're gonna look at our soup and see how it's doing. It's been cooking for roughly about 30 minutes right now. You just wanna soften up the meat first. That's what you always wanna do, cook the meat. So it's looking good, okay? I'm gonna stir this so. 
Now we're not going to add any more liquid. This is the only liquid that we're going to use. Just like you are making a stock because this is already smoked meat so it's going to make a really nice tasting stock. So right now what we're going to do, the Maggi cubes, you can add three or four. This is four. We're going to add four to our pot. The last sun that I showed you earlier, this is optional. And let me just put this one pack. It just gives a very nice color and flavor too. I love the color. Okay, the palm oil right here. We're gonna add this about a, just a little over a tablespoonful of palm oil. This is a pretty nice size soup that I'm making. So you're gonna add this palm oil inside. I always let my meat, like I say, boil for the for the first 30 minutes or so, you know, because I'm trying to soften up the meat. But the but the turkey is already smoked and cooked, but you're just mostly heating it up. But I still love my meat to be pretty soft. Okay. So after the palm oil, what we're going to do is I already soaked and rinsed off my stockfish. So what we're going to do is add the stockfish pieces inside of the soup. All this right here, just nothing but flavor. You just add the flavor on top of flavor. Okay. So right now we're going to let it come to a boil and cook some more. Okay, y'all, I'm back. It's looking great. So what we're going to do now, see how we're liquid cooking down? It's, it's looking good. See the color of it? Color of the stock. See the palm oil? You cannot even see it because it's blended inside of your liquid. So, right now, we're going to, I'm going to get the blender here. You can see it. I'm going to get the blender here. And I'm going to add some liquid inside of here, like so. Because I'm going to. I'm going to add two of the jalanero peppers. I'm going to add it inside here and I'm going to blend it like so. And I'm going to add the same liquid and the jalanero peppers back inside. Okay, I just finished blending it right here. We're going to add it back inside. Peppers and all is inside of here. Okay. You can add much as heat as you want. I'm gonna add this whole pack of the one ounce grind of crayfish. Okay, we're gonna add it like so. We're gonna let this continue cooking. Nothing but flavor. Flavor on top of flavor. It smells great, y'all. My sister, oh, you better try my recipe, my sister. Oh. I know I'm good. I know I'm American, but hey, we can get down too. I can cook all types of African food. I'm gonna show you how I fix my igusio. Tell me if you wanna see the igusi recipe. I will make it happen. So I'm gonna let this cook just a little bit. And probably about another 15 minutes. And we're gonna start adding the spinach. It's about 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna let the meat cook a little bit longer. Right now, the, the meat been cooking for about an hour right now. Okay, right now we're gonna look at all the soup. See how the liquid cooked down? It's almost half. That's what you want. Your meat is very tender right now. See? I was kind of falling off the bone like this. See that? Kind of falling off the bone. You can see that right there. So that's what we want. So right now we're gonna add some chopped spinach. I just bought two bags of the chopped spinach. Like this here, we're gonna add both of them. This is frozen, you can use fresh also. Right now, this is what I have. 
So we're gonna add two of the spinach. Two bags. Let's see, I'm making a pretty nice size, so. We're almost coming to an end, y'all. So we're gonna add two of this chopped spinach, like so. So we're gonna stir this around this side here. Your liquid have tons of flavor. So you're not adding any more seasoning, crayfish or anything. The season's already there. So I'm gonna let this spinach cook. Let's just come to a boil a little bit. Spinach cook very fast. About 10 minutes or so. This whole process is less than two hours. Like hour 30 minutes to two hours. It's depending on the size you cook and the amount, you know. And what all you want to put inside of it. That, that all depends. Like turkey meat, it don't take a long time. So this process takes less than two hours to make. Okay, we're going to let this come to a boil. Okay, at this point right here, if you just want spinach soup, Vegetable soup, you feel free to add one more bag of spinach to thicken it up more. But right now I have about a pound of okra that I cut up in small pieces already. So I'm gonna add this inside of here, like so. So I want that spinach and that okra Mix so good, y'all. See how it's sticking up? Nothing to it. Okay, I normally don't let my okra cook to the so long. That's why I always add it towards the end of the soup. I'm gonna let this cook for about a good five minutes and I'm gonna turn it off. It is ready. And just let it simmer. It will thicken up on its own. You get you some fufu, some oatmeal fufu, some panda yam, some Gary, whatever you want to eat with it. Go at it. So this is the finishing of the vegetable soup. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit and I'm gonna plate some up so I can show you the results from it. Okay, everyone. This is the finishing of the African vegetable soup with okra and spinach. This soup is so delicious, my sister. Oh, oh my God. Just look at the juices the flavor in the stock. I'm going to cook me some oatmeal fufu right now to enjoy with it. Look closely. Look at just some flavors inside of this smoked turkey, the spinach. I would like to thank you so much for watching my video and I have so many more to come and I will see you next time. Bye bye for now.